nothing showed how your ABC is really their ABC better than the way that they previewed the coronation of King Charles on the weekend. That they were at the heart of the dispossession of the stolen land of our First Nations people and of massacres and attempted genocide in this country and others. That's really important. The Australia with an Indigenous heritage, a British foundation and the migrant richness of the migrant experience is a lovely idea. I don't know where that Australia is. We haven't lived in that Australia. You know, they talk about genocide. You know, they talk about crimes against humanity, which they are now recognised as. But this may well be the start of a different Australia and the, the f end of the final element of the British Empire. As a result of the Crown establishing institutions here, Australia itself was founded, or at least New South Wales and the colonies, founded as penal colonies. So it's about time we absolutely start to imagine First Nations peoples at the front and centre of our nation. Um, you know, abolishing prisons, for one, because mm. those are also outdated in this colony. Craig Foster is from Lismore, by the way. He was a finalist for Australian of the Year. Anyway, he'll continue going up the ladder, as we say. Eric Betts is the Australian Monarchist League's chairman, and he joins us now from Tasmania. Lots of heroes on the wall and lovely photos behind. But before we get to that, what did you think of this? I mean, look, again, it's OK for a debate to happen during news coverage. That's fine. But they went out of their way to try to underline there was something creepy and wrong if you were standing with any level of pride watching this weekend, didn't they? It was a disgraceful performance by the taxpayer-funded national broadcaster. They basically provided monologues for Craig Foster, uh, Stan Grant and others to just vent their spleen as to everything that is wrong with Australia, when I've got to say there is a stack to celebrate about Australia. And above all, it was so inappropriate to do it on the occasion of the coronation of the King of Australia, King Charles III. Uh, this was a celebration. All the other channels were able to tell people who was coming in, who was entering uh, into Westminster, indicating the importance of the occasion with the gathering of all these world leaders. But instead, the national broadcaster treated us to these diatribes and monologues, which if I might say, out of the five panellists in the first uh, uh, hour, all five of them were in favour of The Voice. Mm. Uh, I would have thought anybody, irrespective of what your stance is on The Voice, you would have expected an independent compare and two on each side, especially given the status of the polls. This is the voice is not an issue like the 1967 referendum where you had over 90 percent support for it and then when we moved on to discussions about the monarchy it was a pile on a four against one just a repeat of q a it was just so unbalanced and quite frankly some of the commentary so unhinged and telling us completely uncontested uh, that we should abolish prisons. Really? Yeah. Is that, is, really, is that what we are being required to listen to on the occasion of the coronation of our king, which was a, a situation, a uh, event that was watched by literally billions around the world and our own ABC could not bring themselves to show any sense of decency. Well, my favourite thing is that when people had the choice of what to watch, they watched anything but the ABC, about one and a half million watching uh, all different other platforms and other places. I've got about 30 seconds here, but let me, let me just have a prediction here. The ABC will clear itself of any issues to do with this. So what do we do? Well, um, I'm determining at the moment with other people in the Monarchist League as to how we approach this, but clearly the chair of the board and the managing director have to take responsibility for this egregious behaviour by the ABC, allowing this to occur. And might I add, many ABC viewers who have been rusted on ABC viewers have told me that they stopped watching the ABC on coronation right night and they doubt that they'll ever be returning to it. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you, Erica Betts.